I turn my basic stock Legion Go into an incredible Alpha Omega version of the Legion Go. And it's so freaking cool. And I want to show you how to do this. But let's take a look at my Windows side, Play Night. So this program right here, this thing is so fun because it gives you that gaming presentation. You turn it on. Similar to how SteamOS works, all the games are laid out in front of you. It's not just a boring, ugly Windows desktop, which is good to have, but on a handheld, you kind of want a little bit more. Play Night gives you the opportunity to line up everything, filter it based off playtime, maybe based off favorites, um, and you can change the theme. A lot of people have made some really cool themes, and you can customize it to your liking. And the way I've set it up is, when I turn on the Legion Go, it instantly boots into Play Night. And then some of you are probably familiar with like, Steam desktop mode. When you play a game, you still have to swipe up and then click on the Steam, or on the game, in order to get it up and running. Um, play Night's involved it to where you press A to play, let the game boot up for a second, and then it just shows up. You know, there's none of the windows shuffling through windows and trying to figure things out. It's just very straight to the point. And it's pretty cool to have, especially on a Windows handheld, as we know. Now, this next step right here is literally something that changes the way I perceive handheld gaming. And it is lossless scaling. And what this does is it increases frames with the help of frame generation and also scales the game in a clever way without making it blurry. For example, here's Dragon's Dogma 2, and on an average, I'm around like 26 frames per second or something like that. When I turn on lossless scaling, okay, you have to buy it on the Steam store, it's like seven bucks, and you run it just like you would a game. You can run lossless scaling as well as Dragon's Dogma 2 or whatever game you wanna play. You turn it on and you're gonna see your frame rates go up about six to 10 frames on average. So I can actually play Dragon's Dogma 2 at a sturdy 30 frames per second. Um, if you see on this video, we're inside of Batal, which is a very heavily populated city in Dragon's Dogma. And a lot of people are struggling with performance in this area, but on a handheld, I'm getting 30 FPS just fine. All right, this next one I've mentioned before, dual booting, Steam OS. Bazite OS. Um, this gives you a Steam Deck on your Legion Go. And look, I'm coming from Windows, and then I can decide whether I want Steam OS or if I want Windows. And so we'll boot into Bazite, which is Steam OS, and this is exactly what you would expect if you're familiar with the Steam Deck. All the settings work, it's just how it's supposed to be. And I wish Windows could work on something like this, but look, you can control the TDP. You can set it to battery saving mode. You can customize everything. And it is so convenient. Sleeve function works like a charm, which is a gift. Um, I really recommend you guys do this. I made a tutorial um, and it's so essential to have games perform great. And then when I'm bored of SteamOS and I wanna play Windows games that aren't necessarily compatible on SteamOS, boom, look at that, I'm right there. Now this next trick is something that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about and Again, it's another extra five to 10 frames that you're gonna get on the games that you play. It's It's got a weird name to it. It's called Bloaty Nosy. I don't like saying that, but what this does is it completely gets rid of all the unnecessary Windows crap that we never use and we never want. For example, it can actually uninstall OneDrive. It can get rid of things I mean, if you take a look at my, my Windows bar, there's nothing on there. If I go to all apps, it's just the absolute basics. And it frees up space, it frees up your RAM, it frees up everything. And so when you get inside the app, you can see on the right side, customize your experience. All you really do is just click fix, apply fixes, let it do its thing right here. Oh, just look at everything that is uninstalling. That is not necessary. And then if you go over here on the bottom left, Win Modder, Explore Mods, and then Install and Update Mod Signature Files. You're going to come across one called Chris Titus Wind Utility. If you click that and apply, it's going to bring up this, this kind of freaky looking software, not going to lie. It looks a little intimidating. It's not though. Um, just do what I'm doing right here. Click on Tweaks. 
And then if you go over, you can see, you can check everything up on the top left. And then just make sure you don't disable game DVR on the left. And literally just click run tweaks and then just let it sit there, do its thing. I mean, you can click it again and it'll tell you that it's currently running, it's doing its job. Um, give it some time, exit out, it'll tell you that everything's been successfully applied. And I'm telling you, now just go hop on your game or reset your device first and then hop on. You're gonna notice a lot more frames. Not a lot, but like six or seven. And then again, you've gotten rid of like all this bloatware that's so unnecessary. Now, another thing with the Legion Go is that audio quality is a little not good, right? I've mentioned this in other videos. It can sound like it's coming from a Tamagotchi, uh, but there's a way to fix that or at least help fix it. And it's called FX Sound. It's a free app. And what this does is it gives you the ability to really manipulate and modify the audio that you do have. Um, clarity, you can change the clarity, you can change the surround, right? The stereo width. But most of all, you can EQ it and you can also make it a lot louder than what it normally is by default. Um, one thing I've noticed is on Windows, the audio from the Legion Go is a lot more quieter than on SteamOS. SteamOS, is, they're really good, but for some reason, Windows doesn't give it to us. This will help you achieve that better sound quality, and that's essential for a lot of you, you know? I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. If this is your thing, it's your thing, you know what to do. Um, do tell me what I can do to improve my videos. I love to grow this channel. Thank you guys for taking the time, and peace out.